All right, this is a summary of how I winterized my um, Merc Cruiser 4.5 200 horse uh, engine. I believe this is the uh, same for the 250 as well, but basically just for the 4.5. Um, with your fuel mix on that tank there, uh, with the uh, oil and the fuel stabilizer, I had it connected to um, this point here. Uh, basically, that's the uh, fuel uh, filter separator. Um, so I unhooked the. Um, this goes straight to the tank right here, um, and I unhooked it, plugged it, plugged the the tank, that tank into that line right there. As you can see. Um, temporary uh, hookup uh, so what I did first was I ran um, the engine for approximately uh, five to ten minutes to get it up to um, uh, running temperature um, to open up the thermostat after that I turned it off turned the engine off it was hot enough to know that all the water has circulated as well as getting this uh, oil fuel mixture into all the fuel injectors um, I then released all the water from the engine using the single point um, release so what I did first was I opened this up and then let for let the water from that orange uh, nozzle there come out once it comes out uh, for about 30 seconds, I open this other blue valve here to let some air in so that uh, it will come down even further. Then I also open that blue water housing plug as well that looks exactly like this one. Um, and I open those two up, let all the water drain out for approximately five to 10 minutes again. And then of course I would uh, put that plug back put this plug back make sure I turn this all the way to the right uh, don't over tighten this because you could can break it um, I'll show you how I set up the back here so how I did and of course I was running when I was warming it up I was running through uh, the water here um, using this system uh, set up um, after all that that first run to warm up the engine I used the regular faucet water um, after I released the, all the water from the engine and it comes out uh, to the drain plug here I uh, fill this up with uh, five gallons of stable RV marine premium antifreeze about negative it's rated at burst rate of negative 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I turn on the engine. I open up this uh, uh, tank here. Just let coolant flow through the engine. It takes about a minute or two for it to fill up inside the tank uh, in the engine. Um, once it gets to the bottom, I just have my, had my wife turn off the engine. Uh, so that was literally just got done a few minutes ago. You can see that there's still some um, uh, antifreeze still flowing out from the engine. So the last thing I need to do, and I'll do this right now too, is I will double check to make sure that coolant is in here. Uh, I will open this slowly just to double check that coolant is actually in the engine a little bit. see pink and there we go that's it and now my engine has been um, winterized both with the fuel system um, use your owner's manual for uh, this uh, the fuel mixture I'll do that update or the fuel mixture ratio uh, in the link below but instead of doing what the owner manual said for five gallons, I did half of that, half of everything. So two and a half gallons of gas and whatever else uh, ratio that I uh, divided in a half. Because running this, it, I don't think it ran more than 
a, a gallon, not even actually. So I still have a lot left. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I might just run it through uh, my mower or something like that. Maybe, maybe not. I'll have to do some more research on it, but that's it. The 4.5 uh, Mer Cruiser uh, 200 horsepower um, engine uh, V6. This is a 2017 um, boat, 2017 engine. Only has about, say, 18 hours on this engine so far. Unfortunately, I bought it a little late. So now, my first winterization. Uh, it cost me all the supplies about um, 130, 150 bucks. But the shop was charging me 175 just for this without the fuel mix, uh, with the fuel mixture, I guess, yeah. Um, with everything what I just did but next year when I do this again it'll probably cost me about 20 uh, uh, 30 bucks good luck and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions